Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Mary Claire. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held a meeting today with Russian President Vladimir Putin at Sochi City's headquarters. The meeting highlighted bilateral ties and ways to enhance cooperation to achieve the aspirations of both countries. His Majesty expressed keenness to strengthen relations with Russia, especially on the political, economic investment and commercial levels. His Majesty and the Russian President lauded the level of joint cooperation and expressed keenness exchanged in exchanged visits, so as to achieve progress in all fields. партнером в заливе, да, и на всем Ближнем Востоке. Мы очень рады видеть наших друзей, иметь возможность поговорить и по двусторонним отношениям, и поговорить на ситуации в мире, и прежде всего, конечно, в регионе. Добро пожаловать. Благодарю господина президента за его приглашение. Это очень важная, хорошая возможность для того, чтобы поговорить и принять с точки зрения. بتعزيز العلاقات الثنائية والمصالح المشتركة. وبرضو كسائرهم سدانيش وتربية المستورونيات الناشين وأبشر الانتراس. خلاص الوضع في الشرق الأوسط وفي العالم. وتعرض أبسودي تفاصيل سيرة المستورس الأبريجي والمستورس الأبريجي والمستورس. بالنسبة للأوضاع الاقتصادية هي ربما تكون قير حقيقية. لأن الدول ممكن أن تتجاوز أمورها الاقتصادية بالتعاون. أشتى كسائر المشاكل في المجال الاقتصادي، فممكن أن نرى في المستقبل أن كل الدول تتعاون مع بعض في حل المشاكل الاقتصادية. ونحن على استعداد أن نتعاون مع روسيا في قيادة الرئيس. ونحن على استعداد أن نتعاون مع روسيا في قيادة الرئيس. هذا شعور جميع أهل البحرين. The meeting also included topics of regional and international developments and stressed the importance of protecting security, peace and stability and combating terrorism. His Majesty King Hamad expressed delight in the visit and lauded the efforts exerted to enhance the cooperation between the two countries to formulate strategic cooperation and achieve progress in various fields, especially in the defence, security, energy, economic, investment, commercial and tourism fields. His Majesty also said that the visit reflects Bahrain's openness to meet with various countries and hold ongoing consultations to overcome all challenges and guarantee a secure life for all nations and societies. The Russian President held a lunch banquet for His Majesty the King, his delegation and Russian officials. After that, His Majesty the King and the Russian President exchanged commemorative gifts as His Majesty the King presented President Putin with an Arabic sword, Al Nasser, decorated with Bahraini natural pearls, while the Russian President presented His Majesty the King with a four-year-old Akhal Itikinsky stallion named Haji Bek who has achieved many accomplishments within his breed, including the 2015 World Championship, the 2014 World Indisputed Champion, in addition to the 2014 Young Horses World Champion.
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa then departed the Russian city of Sochi, concluding his official visit to Russia, during which he held talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin on bilateral relations and regional and international developments. Following the meeting, Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov held a press conference in which they outlined the results of the joint Bahraini Russian talks. Minister Lavrov affirmed the deep rooted relations of cooperation and friendship between the two countries and Russia's keenness to reinforce cooperation in the field of politics and defense, as well as in trade, energy, and investment. He said His Majesty the King and the Russian President discussed trade exchange and the process of the Joint Commerce Committee between the two countries, adding that a Joint Defense Committee had been established to develop joint cooperation in the field of military and defense. He said he was looking forward to enhancing military cooperation and exchanging official visits to further develop coordination in this regard. The Russian minister said the meeting also discussed regional and international developments, adding the two countries agree the international community must join efforts to preserve security and sustain their development. In this regard, the two leaders agreed on the necessity of continuing dialogue to resolve the Syrian conflict, which will enable the Syrian people to decide for themselves. Lavrov added that this must be the principle to resolve all issues and conflicts such as in Libya, Yemen and Afghanistan, in addition to joint efforts to overcome differences so as to achieve justice. He highlighted Russia's keenness to enhance dialogue between Russia and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, saying that the two leaders are satisfied with the courses of today's talks. For his part, Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed pointed out that His Majesty the King had been looking forward to the meeting with the Russian president and affirmed the results of the visit were satisfactory. He highlighted the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and joint cooperation in the fields of trade exchange, economy, defense and military, in addition to tourism and sports. In regards to regional issues, the two leaders agreed on the need to eliminate terrorism and find peaceful methods of resolving conflicts. He said that His Majesty the King values the role of Russia in helping Syria to resolve its conflict, calling on major powers to cooperate with Russia to reinforce security and peace in Syria. He said Bahrain was looking forward to consolidating cooperation with Russia in line with the strategic GCC-Russia dialogue. The minister added that His Majesty the King was looking forward to the Russian president's visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain in the coming period. His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa met with his, with his Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa at Qudaybiya Palace today. The meeting discussed regional and international updates and ways of reinforcing cooperation among different countries. Their Royal Highnesses noted the role of visits His Majesty the King conducts to different countries in strengthening relations and enhancing cooperation so as to reinforce the Kingdom's capability of dealing with international economic developments. They stress the importance of His Majesty the King's current visit to Russia in this critical time that requires a stronger cooperation with major political and economic powers. They also express keenness that the talks during the visit to strengthen Bahraini-Russia relations. The Deputy of His Majesty the King and the Prime Minister also discussed the government's development approaches towards establishing projects that serve the economic and tourism sectors and supporting the investment field in the Kingdom. They also reviewed a number of major projects in the development and economic fields. His Royal Highness Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received at Gudebiya Palace today members of the United Nations Committee for Investment accompanied by former Egyptian Foreign Minister and former Arab League Secretary General Amr Musa and Chairman of Investcor Bank Board of Directors Namir Kedar. Deputy of His Majesty the King commended the achievements of the private sector and stressed support to further empowering it as a partner in national economy. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to reinforce its economic development and stressed the importance of revising and developing the economic framework so as to deal with the requirements of the current phase and the international economic circumstances due to the fall of oil prices. His Royal Highness said that Bahrain values its relations with the United Nations, saying that they share the values of preserving security and stability 
in addition to raising the level of development towards achieving sustainable status in all fields. He said preserving the national economy and protecting security and stability are inseparable, affirming the importance of ensuring a safe environment to achieve the best interests of the people. The Deputy of His Majesty the King highlighted the ideological fascist threat facing the region, stressing the need to enhance cooperation and coordination to face such challenges so as to ensure security and stability and preserve human dignity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qudaybiyya Palace today Speaker of the Representatives Council Ahmed Al Mullah, Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh, MPs and senior state officials. His Royal Highness said the deterioration of the situation in the Arab region requires more efforts to overcome the challenges in line with a unified vision that preserves the security and stability of Arab countries and their people. He commended the level of existing cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities and stressed the necessity of enhancing coordination and unifying efforts to achieve the aspirations of the people. The Prime Minister confirmed that all efforts should be dedicated to the homeland and its stability towards further progress and prosperity despite all challenges and highlighted the importance of consolidating cooperation between the two authorities to attract more functions to the Kingdom and contribute to its commercial, economic and investment development.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebia Palace today. Former Egyptian Foreign Minister and former Arab League Secretary General Amr Musa and Chairman of Investcorp Bank Board of Directors Namir Kedar on a visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain to take part in a number of economic activities. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted Bahrain's success in attracting many international banking and finance institutions, which reflects confidence in the investment atmosphere of the Kingdom that is based on modern and advanced legislative and legal foundations. He noted the government's keenness to support the banking and finance sector through its programs and plans by providing necessary facilities that ensure an atmosphere of freedom and openness which qualifies the kingdom to be a financial hub in the region. The Prime Minister pointed out Bahrain's ongoing efforts to develop the banking and financial sector, adding that legislation and laws regulating the banking and financial sector are constantly revised to keep up with the needs of each phase. For, his part, for their part, rather, Amir Musa and Namir Kedar commended His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's care for the banking and finance sector, which contributed to turning Bahrain into a regional financial centre. They stressed His Royal Highness's support to banks working in Bahrain contributed to the success and commended the facilities provided by the Bahraini government. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudebiya Palace today. The Prime Minister congratulated the leadership and the people of Bahrain on the 15th anniversary of the National Action Charter. He highlighted the kingdom's accomplishments across various sectors over the last 15 years. The cabinet then congratulated the leadership and Bahrain Defence Force, the BDF, on the 48th anniversary of its establishment commending the BDF service to the kingdom and its people. The cabinet also applauded the opening of the Unified Naval Operations Centre of the Bahrain Royal Navy Force, which falls under the Unified Military Command of the GCC. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up on the progress of delayed projects on Galali and Busaitin coasts, al Kayseriya Market in Muharraq and Muharraq Central Market. He directed the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning to expedite implementation of these projects to more rapidly meet the needs of citizens. The Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Issam bin Abdullah Khalaf, then presented an overview on the progress of the Ministry's latest projects and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the Ministerial Committee for Services and Infrastructure to oversee the effective implementation of these projects. 
Memoranda submitted by ministries and ministerial committees were also discussed during the Cabinet meeting, which included reviewing a memorandum regarding a proposal by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism related to shifting supervision of electronic transactions from the current responsible authority to another. The Cabinet approved a memorandum for regulating the ban on fishing kingfish, shrimp and crabs during specific months of the year, and a memorandum regarding the organisational restructuring of the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. The meeting reviewed a memorandum related to ratifying an air transport agreement between the government of Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and a memorandum to ratify an air transport agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Tunisia. The Cabinet approved a memorandum related to a list that identifies healthcare professionals and reviewed a, mem a memorandum regarding amending Decree Law 41 for the year 2012, which nominates a relevant minister to be responsible for the role of shareholder at the Bahrain Bourse. Following the meeting, the Minister of Information and Parliament Affairs held a press conference during which he outlined the issues discussed by the Cabinet. He pointed out the issues discussed that aim to regulate work of the media sector, which is complementary to the 2002 media law, until the issuance of the new law. The Minister said the decision to regulate the ban on fishing kingfish, shrimp and crabs aims to preserve fisheries and inventory. He noted that the ban will be during the period from mid-August to mid-October, banning shrimp fishing for four months from mid-March to mid-July and reducing the period for crab fishing from four months to two months during the period from mid-March to mid-May. A number of terrorists... A number of terrorist actions that target educational institutions continue as a group of vandals closed of roads, leading to Munthur bin Sawa Al Tamimi Primary School in Akr. The vandals set fire to the road in order to disable students and teachers from entering the school. The number of attacks on educational institutions has risen to 457.